This is Great Gears Gaming, aka Cyanitzy, and we are back in DayZ. I guess, yes, this is Komarovo. That's right. Uh, last time we got shot on top of a fire station, and uh, we're still on the same server. Let's seek revenge. Oh, I already see a different, another player up there. Let's see what he's doing. He's going back inside. I guess this is. Not for me to loot, I guess. Or what is what is he doing? Should we talk to him? I don't know. Should we talk to him? No way. He doesn't. He looks like a fresh spawn as well. Guess he's no danger, right? Let's move. <coughs> uh, as I was saying before, this game is ill-named. This is not Day C. This should be Day I, because. They are not zombies, they are infected. I've looked at them through a thermal scope on the L85A2 ABS and uh, their bodies are they are glowing white hot. So I guess it is an infection instead of uh, uh, a virus that kills and reanimates. They all look pretty dead though, so they might... Hmm. I don't know, it's hard to say, but for me they are infected and not zombies, but I'm still gonna call them zombies because it's just easier to do. Uh, I was hoping for a hatchet in here, but I guess I'm not gonna be lucky and that other punk is still there somewhere. Uh, let's see if we can befriend him. No? Oh, you you are not a you you are not my friend. I don't I don't want to be your I, no, I don't want you to be my friend. Go away. No, no, bad. There's a lot of dead zombies and someone running out there. Maybe I was. Oh crap! I come in peace. I, I come in peace. I have no gear, I just spawned. Please don't kill me. Well, guess we're having a staring contest now, Jacob. Well, you scared me too, buddy. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a believing then, guess this is your house. I'm sorry for intruding. Well, we had an unpleasant encounter. Oh, and now we aggroed. Let's go. Oy vey. Uh, ditching zombies is something you should learn while playing this game. But uh, 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 many people don't because they just run through everywhere and uh, boost them through a house. I don't. I don't like that. In a if you can do that, or that they do that, that's simply not playing the game right in my opinion. I like to be sneaky about it. I wasn't here because I already aggroed and needed to get the fuck out of here. But I guess I'm gonna lose them in that uh, shipyard thingy over there. And then we should be in Balota and there I should be able to find some neat loot I hope. Or get shot in the face because it's Balota after all. <coughs> there is someone walking in front of me. He's coming towards me. He has a weapon, he's going to kill me. Probably or not, maybe. Uh, let's signal him that we are peaceful. I am unarmed, I am unarmed, I just spawned, I have nothing for you. Go away. Uh, usually it doesn't hold me back to shoot them in the face, but... Uh, oh well. We can always hope that there's uh, people more friendly and dumber than you in this game. Uh, guess he is going to... Leave me alone, let's take a look. And I have zombies following me, I hope to drop them with him, but uh... Oh well. Keep on running, running, running. Uh, so this is gonna be my first let's play. Uh, I'm gonna play some DayZ until I uh, lose interest in it again like I did a few weeks ago because of all the hackers. This, they're a real problem in this game, the hackers. Uh, I can tell you a story about the squad from hell. I've posted it on the Daisy forums uh, as well. Uh, if ever one, someone wants to read up on my shit on the Daisy forums, uh, link will be in the description. 
and uh, well, the squad from hell. I was respawned after getting killed by some other hackers and uh, was in Cherno. And on my way to find me some weapons in Cherno, I encountered a squad of people full packed with chili suits, M17s, and uh, AS 50s, and uh, coyote backpacks that probably were filled with uh, scripted hacked loot. And. Oh, excuse me there, a pizza. Um, this quite pisses me off. But what it was even worse, they, instead of just killing me, they started talking to me. Their leader was, I don't know, maybe 12 year old, I guess, since he had to use a voice scrambler to, to either maintain the spot from hell thingy or because he was 12 or had no balls. Because hackers have no balls. That's just fact. And, uh, well. He started talking to me, asking me if I want anything, but for that I have to join him and uh, if I don't, they're gonna kill me, so I just refused uh, the hope they'd hand me some 50 caliber aspirin. But uh, sadly, he just kept on talking. Up to a point where I decided to get up, go in voice chat, and tell him to either just stop talking or finally kill me. Oh, 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 those are shots. Sounds like a Lee Enfield. I was getting tired of his voice scrambler and his big ego and his tiny penis. Uh, I ended up as Swiss cheese on the ground, but I hopefully took out the fun for them. And, well, I guess it's just one of the many stories people have about hackers. Why? If you feel like telling me one of your stories, go ahead. Guess they can be fun. Uh, also, I don't judge you if, to, if you kill survivors. I'm, I'm, I'm no saint. Definitely no saint. But I've just learned that if you don't kill, you'll be killed. And... I don't know where the shots came from now, but... They might have come from... The hangars behind the... Tents, or from the tents. So I'm just gonna keep on this... Keep the survey up a bit. Check my surrounding. Oh, there's someone running away, and there's someone on the on the, on the ladder thing. That's what it's called, yes, ladder. Also, you have to excuse my sometimes not so good English, since I'm Swiss, and you may probably hear that in the my accent. So, if you are uh, bugged out by not correct English, even though I uh, have a, a Cambridge diploma, it's just I don't usually get to use my English that much. So I guess I'll just have to fresh up, but uh, if it bo bothers you, no one's forcing you to watch, you may go away now. Or should I just go for the hangers now? I think I might just go for the hangers, because usually people don't look there that often as they go for the deer stands at the military tents. Also, um, Rocket and other creators of the DayZ mod, why are there so many empty tents uh, in Balota? I mean, Fuck ton of tents and even medical tents, but they they don't spawn any deer. There is one tent that has a rack full of AKs, but uh, not usable, and I find this very misleading and actually pretty mean towards the newbies or bambies, how they're called in DayZ. Let's see how does it look. Looking pretty. Let's go. Let's see if we can get ourselves some nice loot there. We all can only hope. Or at least I can, I don't know if you care. You probably want me to get bad loot, so you have to see me struggle more often. And believe me, you will, you will. I have the most terrible luck in this game. Uh, especially with hackers, I mentioned this before. But also with uh, breaking them legs, son. Go to the toilet, break the legs. Walk downstairs, break them legs. Uh, run over a bump in the road, break them legs. Did I? Oh fuck! I already aggroed them. Ah crap! God, I suck today. It's maybe because I'm talking like a dipshit here. Usually I'm fully focused by gaming, but uh, now that I try to do let's plays, this is going to change, I guess. But uh, who's to say this is a bad thing? This might be very entertaining if you're a sadistic bastard. Sees me suffer. Likes to see me suffer. Oh, Binox. Nice! 
Give me them. Give me them by not sun. Nothing else. Well, let's go upstairs, I guess. See if there's anything. Nope. But I know if I ditch the zombies by now. Oh, but they seem to have multiplied. Ugh. 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 That's not a nice thought. No, 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 no. Do I hear steps that do not belong to the No, no, that's just normal steps. Well, zombie steps. As normal as they can get, shumbling and shuffling. That's also the, the perk of having a good headset. Uh, surround sound headset, even if it's just digital surround sound 7.1. It makes hearing them a lot easier. Oh, well, let's see if we can find our first weapon, and I guess this will. If I find one, this will conclude the first and ever episode of Great Gears Gaming's Let's Play DayZ. Oh, no, 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 you go, you go. Bad, bad infected man, go away. I don't want your zombie aids. That's also something they might uh, want to add, like uh, if you get hit by zombie, uh, by those infected, that you get uh, infected yourself and when ah oh, crap, did I? Yes, I did. And when you act, uh, when you get fully infected uh, after taking a too hard beating, instead of just dying, that they turn you into a zombie with loot on it. Nope, ammo. And uh, so that other players can shoot you and take all your shit and so it makes it actually kind of harder for you to uh, get your own shit back because so far it has been pretty easy. You just uh, go back where you died and... Oh crap, they can run in here. Blah! And uh, take up all your crap if it hasn't been looted yet. Uh, oh come on, no weapons? You disappoint me, Hangar. You disappoint me. Oh well, let's let's do this completely like a complete fucked up moron. Let's just run in here again because I forgot to check the behind. Let's throw some lying here. Yeah, can oh, yeah, we have something there, but it looks like ammo and not a weapon. I was right. Fuck you. Oh well, at least we got some binox out of this whole crap. I think I'm gonna go back up on the tower and then end this recording there. Uh, better safe than sorry, because my last uh, survivor, let's say, I only had for like five minutes because someone had a sniper rifle and I didn't. <laughs> Probably the best explanation to give. Shotgun versus sniper rifle, yes, that's what was it, what it was. Shotgun versus sniper rifle. I thought it was shots, but give me them painkillers, son. I should also take an AKM mag in, in case they actually get me one of those. This could always happen. Who knows, because next time I log in here, there might be an AK somewhere around. See? Stuff spawn. There we go. G17. Nice. Hey, now I actually can say I've accomplished something in this video. Woohoo! Well, let's go up here because I'd like to be in higher ground. Makes spotting you diff uh, difficult and... Uh, spotting others easy. If you do it right, of course, you can do it completely wrong and face dive into the pavement like I just did. And thus concludes the very first episode of this Let's Play. I've already mentioned that this is my first ever attempt on a Let's Play, uh, but I'm still going to upload this no matter how awful it may be, because I think it might be interesting for you guys to see how Great Gears Gaming evolves from a two-people Let's Play platform onto hopefully something bigger. But guess only time will tell. Uh, that's it for now. I'm Sinitzi, and I'll hopefully have you guys with me ne again next episode. But until then, good luck, survivors.